I often refer to the geometric dimensioning and tolerancing tools as tools in your toolbox. Of course, like any tools, if you don't know how to use them, they won't do you much good. So let's take a look inside the toolbox. In my toolbox, you'll find that there are two trays. The top tray is for those tools that I use most often, and those are the locating controls. So that would be position for features that have size, or run out for either circular or total for the coaxial features, and profile of a surface, which can locate any surface on any feature. So profile of a surface is like the duct tape of geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. Occasionally, though, I have to control the orientation better than location. Now, location gives you orientation for free, always. But if you need to control the perpendicularity, parallelism, or angularity better than the control you're getting with the locating controls, you could refine with one of these. And down in the bottom of the toolbox, you'll find the form controls, which aren't needed very often because you get form for free with profile, with the runouts, and sometimes with the orientation controls. And then there are a couple of tools that aren't in my toolbox anymore, and those are concentricity and symmetry. Sure, I want features to be symmetric or concentric, but I can achieve that using position, profile, or in the case of concentricity, even with the runouts. So concentricity and symmetry have gone the way of the old slide rule. Seemed like a good idea once, but we really don't need it anymore. Now, if you need help using your GDT tools, be sure to contact us at techies.com.